everyone, welcome here. If you're new here, my name is Rebecca. If you're not new here, welcome back. Thank you for coming back and watching another video. So in today's video, I am decluttering my closet. So it's been about a year since I did a big clean out of my clothes and a lot has changed in my life since then. My husband and I went from living in a van and traveling full time to now living in a house. We live in a new climate. We have new jobs in a new state. So we just have different wardrobe needs now. I've brought a few new pieces into my life. So I feel like I need to purge a few things and I also feel like I just need to reorganize my closet and my dresser a little bit to put some of the more heavier winter stuff farther back and bring forward some of the hotter summer stuff because it's hot. I think it's like 102 degrees here right now. <laughs> so I have what I would consider a pretty minimalist wardrobe. I don't capsule wardrobe. I keep all of my clothes in my closet and my dresser at all times. I don't like rotate seasonally my clothes except for, you know, moving them to more or less accessible places based on the weather. And it's definitely not the smallest wardrobe in the world, but it's also not the biggest. It's kind of somewhere in between. But at this point, I feel like I have a few pieces that I really just don't wear anymore. I have a few pieces that are just not appropriate for the weather and the climate here. And I just want to go through my stuff and make sure everything is still adding value to me and I still have just pieces that I love. All right, with all that said, let's get started. All right, so this is the bedroom. So we keep our clothes in this dresser and in this closet. So the dresser, my husband and I split 50-50. This is my drawer. This is my drawer. And this is my drawer and the rest belongs to him. And then the closet over here, we also split. So this is my side of the closet, but this is more of like a two third, one third split, if I'm being totally honest, because my clothes go all the way to here. And then the rest is for my husband. So I'm a big fan of pulling everything out of both the closet and the dresser and putting it in one big pile and going through it that way. It just gives me a better sense of like what I actually have rather than trying to go through it while it's still in like the closet or still in the drawers. So that's where I'm gonna start. You're being such a good helper. Thank you so much. Okay, I feel like every time I do this, this is like pretty shocking, especially because I think that I don't have a lot of clothes. And then like, look at this pile. It's huge. All right, I better get to it. All right, so there's essentially just gonna be two piles. Either it's gonna be keep or it's gonna be sell slash donate. I haven't decided if I'm going to donate these things or sell them yet. Our local thrift shop is not open right now, so I feel like this might be a good opportunity to like finally start that Poshmark I've been telling myself I should start. But regardless, if I end up doing a Poshmark, I will link it down below. But either way, two piles. Okay, we're off to a bad start. Everything's in the keep pile. Oh, here, finally, something. These mittens are super thick, super warm. I don't, I don't need these here. These were great when I had to like be out in the snow or like clean snow off my car. It doesn't really snow here. First item in the cell, donate pile. Okay, these pants, I love these pants, but there's a hole worn through them in the crotch. And I'm all about mending my clothes and I tried to mend it, but the jean material just got so thin and worn out there that I, there's nothing to like stitch together. So I guess I have to make a third pile because these are trash. Goodbye, I love you forever. These jeans, I don't know what to do with these jeans. I really like them, but they were my mom's and she gave them to me and I honestly feel like they're one size too small on some days. Like some days they fit just fine and some days I'm like, these are too tight, I can't stand you. Uh... Okay, I'm gonna make another pile of things I wanna try on before I get rid of. Okay, so we went from having two piles to four piles. What can I say? So this shirt, so when I bought this, it was a size me 
medium, but over time, the fabric has stretched out so much. It now like comes down to my knees when I wear it, and the neck of it is so wide that it just like falls off my shoulders. I love this shirt. I know like tie-dye is having a moment right now. It feels very on trend, but I can't, I can't wear it. It's too big. Goodbye. All right, this little crop top, I definitely need to try on. I like it, but it's like, it's just so thick and tight and I feel like the days when it's warm enough that I would want to wear a crop top like this, it might be too thick. I don't know. Try on. All right, this is a shirt that I'm embarrassed that I even still have. I wear it and I, I shouldn't be wearing it. I wore it like in a video pretty recently. I think I wore it in the video where I shaved my head. I bought this shirt, I think in like 2004. And it's just, it's just a tank top, but I just really like the fit of it and like how flowy it is and it's very lightweight and everything I would want for my desert life. But you guys, like, can you, can you see how thin and how many holes are in it? I'm embarrassed that I have continued to wear it 16 years later. I think it's time to let it go. <laughs> Trash pile. Oh, I love this sweater. I thrifted this sweater. It's got like a big cowl neck. It's the softest thing in the world. And I wear it all the time. Like this was a winter staple for me when we first moved here. It's getting pretty ratty looking. I think I said in my last wardrobe declutter video that I was never getting rid of this. And I'm still, I'm not getting rid of it yet. But I feel like it maybe has one more season left in it before it just is maybe come to the end of its life. But for now, I can definitely get another winter out of it. Okay, so this is another tie-dye piece that I bought years and years ago, and I really like the shape of it. Like, it's a long kind of tunic with a high neck, big bell sleeves. I like it. It's a really thick material. It might be good in the wintertime, but I just don't like the color. Like, this color, this is not a flattering color on me. This, like, dusty, off-white, like, uh, mm -mm. I think I'm just ready to let this go. So these are all of my leggings. If I'm being totally honest, two pairs of these have holes in them, but I gotta buy some new ones before I get rid of these old ones because otherwise I won't have enough to wear in a week. So I'm gonna keep them for now until I get some new ones. Okay, I think that was all the folded clothes. Let me show you where we're at. Okay, so that's the keep pile so far. That's the try on pile. That's the sell donate pile and the trash pile. Okay, so I'm gonna start with some jackets. This is my winter jacket. I'm definitely gonna keep this rain jacket. It hardly ever rains here, but when it does, I definitely want a rain jacket. So we're gonna keep these two, stick them way back in the corner. So this I'm definitely gonna keep. It's just like a shawl that is reversible. It's great in the winter time. I love this. Okay, this I just call a blanket. It's like a poncho with a big cowl neck. It's made of like a nice, soft, cozy material. I love this. I've had it for like many, many years, but I don't really wear it anymore. I can't remember the last time I wore it. It's probably been a few years, but I hold on to it because I like it. I like the style of it, but I think I'm ready to let go of it. This is a definite keep. I thrifted this in the Haight-Ashbury in San Francisco when we were living in the van and it's everything. This is another keep. This is from Patagonia. It's a lined shirt and it's like the most amazing thing to wear in the cold weather. All right, this jacket is a jacket that I absolutely love. My mom picked this out and gave this to me several years ago, and I still think it's the most amazing jacket ever. It's a good like medium weight jacket for some of those colder months, and I'm definitely gonna keep this. All right, I think this is our last cold weather thing. This is a faux leather jacket. It's got this hood on it. I'm in love with this. All right, so this shirt I've had for quite a while. It's like a little bit longer in the back. It's got this raw edge to it. It is a little bit of a thicker material, but I did wear it pretty recently and I enjoyed wearing it. But also I have this shirt. Put you back on here. I guess they're not that similar. This one's really lightweight. I got this right before we started traveling in Asia and it was like one of the most amazing warm weather things I had. So I'm definitely keeping this. And I think I'm gonna keep this too. I think I'm gonna keep both. This again is a piece that I've had for years, but I still wear it all the time. It's really nice like in the morning here when I'm gonna go walk the dog, I'll like throw this over top. Same with this one. It's a little heavier in denim, but they're a good like wear a tank top underneath, like throw these on top if you need just like a little bit of warmth. So keeping both of these. Okay, I don't really know what to do with this. This is like a very beautiful wrap skirt that I love to wear kind of like 
higher up and then like not a shirt with it. And it was kind of like the skirt of my life like three or four years ago. It, it was a good like baby shower, brunch kind of skirt. A very not breathable material. Like I can just see myself sweating in this here. I think I'm gonna put it in the try on pile. Unsure, don't know. This shirt I wear all the time here. I almost got rid of this in my last declutter and I'm super glad that I didn't because it's like the perfect lightweight over top shirt for this climate. I don't know if you can tell, let me bring it closer. It's like starting to get some holes in the back of it, but I'm not ready to give up on it yet. I'm gonna keep it. All right, this is a new piece that I just brought in. I'm obsessed with just like the shape and the color of this. It's nice and lightweight and breathable and it's the perfect like morning or evening, just need like a layer on top kind of shirt. This is also a new shirt. It's like my 90s dreams come true with like this big oversized and like the big buttons and the collar. It's just like, this shirt's everything. Keep. All right, this I'm definitely keeping. It's a little too heavy for this time of year, so I'm gonna put it kind of back in the closet, but it's this like plaid material. I mean, it's got a panel in the back that's like floral. I love these jeans. They're like a wide, like a jean. They're nice and light, so I could definitely like wear them in the summertime here if I wanted to wear long pants in the summertime here. This is like an organic cotton jumpsuit. I love this, it's nice and lightweight and breathable. Definitely gonna keep this. So if any of you watched my things I only own one of video, you know I said I only own one dress. Guess what, I now have two. So this one is a new acquisition in my closet. I am in love with it. If I'm gonna wear a dress in the desert, I definitely need it to be like this. It's got like an open back, it's nice and fitted through here, but then it's just like a light linen material through the rest of it. Like, is this dress not everything? I'm so obsessed with it. For some reason, look, it came with bells on it. Like, I'm 100% gonna cut those off. Everyone doesn't need to know that I'm coming. This dress is everything. So that just leaves this dress. This is a Lululemon dress that I've had for quite a while, and I'm ready to let this dress go. It's again that like thick, not breathable material. And it definitely has more versatility than the new dress that I bought. But I also have like a lot of other ways to like dress up in my wardrobe that are not necessarily a dress. So I'm gonna let this go. Goodbye. Okay, so trash pile over there, our donation pile got quite a bit bigger, but I think that's because there's like a blanket in it. And then I gotta try this stuff on and then this all needs to go back into the dresser. Okay, so I don't have a full length mirror, so I'm just gonna use this footage to tell me whether or not something looks good. So this is the first from the try-on. I think I do kind of like it. It's not like actually super tight. I actually think it's a little bit too big, which is kind of making it comfortable for me. I think I'm gonna keep it. Okay, next try-on is this skirt. I really need like a wide angle lens. I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to see the whole thing. This is it. I don't know, I kind of actually really like it like with this top too. I don't know, what do you, what do you think? Leave me a comment, do I keep this skirt? I feel like this was a bad day for me to do a declutter because I'm feeling like so indecisive. Okay, last try on piece. These hand-me-down jeans for my mom. They're tight, but I'm kind of here for it. I'm keeping these two. Officially done, everything is back in. So we have sweaters, pants. These are like flowy pants, like lightweight pants and shorts. This is a hole for the shorts that I'm wearing right now. And then in here, back here we have scarves. These are leggings, crop tops, tank tops, t-shirts, long sleeve shirts. And then all the way in the back here are like winter hats, gloves, and then socks, underwear, bathing suit, bra, all that good stuff. And then the closet is feeling much more functional to me now. So it starts with like jumpsuits and my dress and then like button down shirts and long sleeve shirts, pants, skirt. And then this gets into like the more winter stuff that I've stored until it gets cold again. Jackets back there. And then lastly we have 
the donate pile, or sell pile, unsure, the things that are going to somebody else eventually. All right, so that's it for this video. Thank you for coming along as I cleaned out my wardrobe. If you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below. I put out new videos every week and I'll see you in the next one. Bye everyone. I'm, my husband and I transitioned from moving in a van. No, that's not, we didn't move in a van. Well, we did move in the van, like forward. Can't be distracted. <laughs> my key keys. What am I trying to say? Oh, it's so sweaty in here. I, I don't watch it in my life. Ugh, it's so hard to get started. Whoa. Okay, here's a thing that is inside out. I don't like it. Get out of my life. Bye-bye.